my worst nightmare. Father Gary Castle is still trying to process what happened outside Holy Family Cathedral Wednesday afternoon. Innocence was lost, you know, as someone from the outside came and attacked the peaceful campus here at the cathedral. Father Castle says some students from Holy Family Cathedral School gathered on the front steps of the cathedral around 4 p.m. to take fall photos. That's when he says a man carrying an ice chest walked across the street. As soon as the man approached the front of the cathedral, uh, our teachers, our faculty and staff uh, uh, reacted very quickly and quickly moved our children um, inside the school building and we immediately went on lockdown and followed all of our protocols and procedures uh, that we follow. He says the man tried to get in the cathedral, but the doors were locked. He made his way down between the cathedral and the school uh, behind me uh, and proceeded to open his ice chest and it appears he was lighting some sort of firebomb that he intended to let off inside the cathedral, but was not able to do so and so was doing so on the south side of the cathedral. Father Castle says the front desk attendant walked outside to figure out what he was doing. At that time, unfortunately, uh, the guy pulled a sword from his uh, side and attacked um, our uh, front desk attendant. Um, and very severely wounded him on both of his hands. Father Castle says the attendant was taken to the hospital and last he heard was going into surgery to have his hand repaired. Then minutes later, police say they got a second call about a man making a threat at Reesers on 71st and Sheridan. That suspect matched the description of the man at Holy Family Cathedral. He's been taken into custody. And we're told that suspect could face felony charges for setting the church on fire. As to the church school, we're told that classes have been canceled for the next two days. We're told that priests, deacons, and also counselors will be available. Live in Tulsa, Janae Quesada, Tunis, Oklahoma.